Hello, my name is Leopoldo Armesto and in this presentation I'm going to talk about the EcoThings project. Actually, uh, EcoThings is the acronym for the project which is entitled Innovative Environmental Technology to Improve Learning Outcomes Among Students at Risk of Social Exclusion. This is an Erasmus Plus project that has been funded by the European uh, Commission. So this is the outline of the presentation. First, I'm going to uh, introduce or provide some motivation and background uh, that, uh, uh, let's say, uh, motivate us to, to develop the project, the partnership of the project, and also the aims of uh, the project aims, and some additional activities that, that we have done uh, along the project. But then I will going to focus on the project results that we uh, we have developed along this this project. So, uh, as you may know, uh, the educational system in some cases is becoming updated. And the reason is that in many cases you can find content-based curriculum which is not helping to develop natural skills, and particularly soft skills. And in many cases as well, there's a, a summative assessment uh, which is used instead of a formative assessment. And that makes the part of the educational system has become outdated. And also, you know that there's a digital, uh, there's a hinge between uh, the digital technology and the access to it, uh, and understanding it, and particularly this is uh, particularly critical uh, for groups of uh, at risk of social exclusion. And for that, in order to work on these uh, these uh, problems, we believe that uh, STEAM projects uh, help students to understand real-life problems from a holistic point of view, uh, promoting the, 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 the use of complementary skills, not only, let's say, technical skills, but many other skills that have to do, uh, or they are coming from different areas, such as engineering, technology, science, maths, and arts. So, in the project, uh, we are five partners in total. Uh, we have we are the Technical University of uh, Valencia, Universitat Politécnica de Valencia, or UPV, and then we have the uh, uh, primary school, which is uh, known as uh, Santiago Apostol, and then we have um, a company which is uh, specialized on uh, environmental um, solving environmental uh, problems within the educational sector, which is called Stando from Cyprus. And then we have a technological uh, partner from Romania, which is uh, uh, called Wildodream. And then we also have a secondary school or high school, which is uh, at Turkey, uh, which is known as uh, Tafen. So these are the project aims, or so the idea is that we want to uh, innovate uh, yeah, the education based on the STEAM uh, philosophy, and we want to uh, improve uh, students' uh, soft skills, uh, and also we are going to implement and design some, let's say, pilot projects in the end, it's a prototype that will be aimed at climate change, so that will uh, make the students to uh, to be aware of uh, climate change uh, issues. And um, we are going to provide along the project, or we have provided along the project, uh, the implementation of technical and pedagogical uh, guidelines uh, in order to uh, follow the, uh, the, let's say, the, our proposal. And of course, we, we want to improve the digital skills of the students involved during this project, and particularly, we have worked with uh, students uh, that belong to families that at serious risk of social exclusion, and this is this one. This was one of our target students. So along the project, we have done different kind of activities uh, by developing or obtaining some results. But besides that, we have done some additional activities like two uh, learning and training teaching activities. It's called LTTA one and LTTA two. The first one was uh, between the partners and um, the teachers, uh, mainly the teachers of, of the primary and the, and the high school teachers. Well, uh, let's say they received training about Internet of Things, 3D printer, laser cutting technology, electronics, and how to program it. And the second uh, mobility we, we've done, it was about students itself by implementing the Lepigowski uh, theory of social learning 
in which the, uh, the students from the Turkish school visit the students uh, at the Spanish school. So the students uh, teach, uh, from different ages students, they teach uh, the, the youngers uh, in Spain. And also along the project we have, uh, or we, we have implemented different kind of multiplier events in which each partner uh, disseminates uh, the results of the project. And these are indeed the results of the project. Uh, there are four results, the four main results that we have uh, worked on it. First one is to develop uh, an Internet of Things prototype, which in the end uh, came or became an intelligent house. And then in the second project results, uh, our or the aim was to develop uh, a block programming tool uh, that was, of course, aimed to use this Internet of Things electronics, low cost Internet of Things electronics. In the third project result, we have uh, implemented some guidelines uh, for uh, uh, how to uh, uh, implement these pedagogical methodologies uh, target for primary and secondary schools. And in the fourth project result, we have implemented the, an e-learning platform with a lot of multimedia contents with all the resources that we have uh, developed along the project. And this includes this, this uh, of course, this set of videos along this course. So these are some of the preliminary ideas that we had at the beginning of the project uh, when we started the project result one. And we were thinking about, okay, we want uh, to develop something that was in about uh, a climate change. And we were thinking about developing different kind of things such as a greenhouse, also implements a kind of intelligent lights that were automatically uh, activated on and off depending on the, the, the presence of a, of a person. Also we were considering about using some gas sensor and noise sensors and implement some kind of weather station and also some weird ideas like a solar tree or solar bench or even putting some kind of glowing streets to save energy so we don't need to, to produce so much uh, light at night and also some, uh, let's say, uh, uh, project was uh, about to implement uh, some kind of smart scooter, things like that. But in the end, all these ideas became or were, uh, became on uh, intelligent house that included as much as possible of these preliminary, preliminary ideas. And this intelligent house was divided in three rooms. The, uh, in this case, the, uh, the living room, in which the is to implement some kind of temperature control here, basically, to save energy and uh, to do it in a, in a smart way. This would be the, the bedroom, in which we are going to uh, save energy by uh, controlling the light, but also uh, to reduce the sound pollution by isolating the, the external sound. And this is uh, the kitchen in which uh, the idea here is to implement, um, in this case, or to detect fire and smoke and generate an alarm. And also, uh, in the project result too, we have worked with block programming tools and we have, parallel, uh, we have worked in parallel in two tools. One is known as Fatalino, which, we, which will be uh, one of, the, one of the, the tools that we're going to use in, in, this, in this course, and another tool was uh, called Wild Green Studio also to uh, uh, work or to program the uh, uh, low-cost electronics that we are proposing in, uh, in the course. And in Project Resolve... Ah! Missing URL. No me da cuenta de esto. Perdón. Sí. Ah, qué putada. Me lo dijeron y se me olvidó actualizarlo. Un momento. Qué putada. <laughs>